je kze. Tell me, uh, you were heavily tied to the production of Hawkeye series as well. Uh, did it met? Uh, did it meet or even exceeded your expectations? Or, and is there something that you would do entirely different? It, it was up to you. Um, I, 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 I don't know that I would say that I was heavily tied. Um, I was uh, what was called a consulting producer. Um, so like I would, I, I spent the day in the, the the writer's room, and then they would kind of send me scripts to read and offer notes. And some of the notes they'd listen to, and some they wouldn't. Um, you know, uh, uh, all I I was just kind of a, an early audience for it. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, um, all of it exceeded my expectations. It was so deeply surreal the entire experience and yeah. and and um the show premiered um while i was in the the writer's room for monarch uh season one um which is a sort of godzilla show that co yeah. created and executive produced uh, uh on apple tv and and had this kind of experience of going from like spending a day writing in the godzilla room to going to Hollywood where there was a you know purple carpet event and they had Christmas trees and Christmas lights and snow machines <laughs> and you know and 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 there was Hawkeye art all up and down the, the it was very all of it exceeded expectations um let's see what would I do different um <laughs> I put together a uh, playlist of uh, uh, david and i were were both making playlists while we were working on the book oh, and I uh, uh uh and i sent a uh i sent a playlist to them i was like oh here are all the songs that i was writing to when i hear these songs i think about something from hawkeye so the only that would that would be i would i would have uh i had more um music cues and music licensing um um but that's just my own experience of, of of those stories was what music was playing there's, there's still a lot of music in the in the show so it was pretty great yeah yeah and which songs did you put on your playlist because i hadn't uh didn't have a chance to see the playlist actually oh boy um it's a long one uh, Just a uh few. there's a uh uh underdog by stevie wonder um uh new york's all right if you like saxophones by fear um uh, uh christmas baby please come home by darlene love um those are the three that popped to mind right off the top uh uh david's had a lot of like lalo Schifrin music and, and instrumental tracks and stuff mm -hmm. um yeah That's it would have cool. been great to get uh, uh all that stuff in a, in a disney show would have been pretty fun but uh yeah. but uh, no complaints you know yeah i mean it, it was, it was uh, after loki it's probably the, the 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 best that disney plus uh at least for marvel uh put out in my opinion yeah definitely oh, a, yeah very kind uh there are a lot of smart really talented people that worked on it mm -hmm. and it's it's yeah. crazy that like it's they really made it they really steered into the christmas stuff like it gets they they re-show it every christmas you know they like re-promote it every christmas it was crazy it's 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 crazy enough to feel like be a part of you know something this kind of juggernaut like the mcu but then to be a part of the disney christmas entertainment universe is like mm -hmm. oh wow this is going to play forever <laughs> We stay genuine, uncensored and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Iguzo!